What up gamers and in today's video what we're going to be doing is exploring an extraterrestrial laboratory that has been discovered in Grand Theft Auto 5 after the recent Mercenaries DLC. So down in the descriptions below will be a link for a PlayStation. You guys can go ahead and bookmark this job right here. So we're going to go ahead and start this up. This is going to be a secret laboratory that's going to be hidden in the mountain by the military base. So what I'm just going to go ahead and do real quick is try to bounce off of somebody in a different targeting mode. It doesn't look like that worked. Oh, we're going to fall. Is there going to be a death barrier? Probably. I'm going to hit. Oh, nope. Hit something else. What is that? I don't know what I hit there. We hit something though, right? All right. Well, that was a fail. Okay. Hold on. Let's try this again real quick. All right. So I'm going to have to pop open my pause menu and we're going to have to go in here again. Look, here it is. Just to let you guys know. Like there's the military base down there. This is where the secret laboratory of extraterrestrial beings is located. And there's going to be some Easter eggs in here we're going to be talking about. And it's going to probably blow your mind because you're probably looking at the thumbnail like, what? <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff inside of here, you guys. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and join someone real quick. I'm just going to accept all these alerts. We're trying to glitch ourselves in here. Oh. There we go. <laughs> Wait, everything's invisible. Hold on. Oh, oh, look at this. I found something. Holy schmoly. <laughs> Dude, where are we? Oh my God, I'm scared. <laughs> what? Look at this place. Oh, there's operating tables or something right here. Four of them. What's in here? Oh, what's that green glowy thing? We'll check it out later. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna go room by room here. This is like super exciting. Wait a minute, what's in here? There's a lot of boxes. All right, well, hold on. <gasps> mark, mark to oppressor. What? What's a mark to oppressor doing here, bros? Could this potentially be some sort of alien tech that we got with the mark to oppressors, and we was never aware of this? Have you guys experienced like going in here yet with a job? Because I've played, I believe, all the jobs uh, so far, and I have not gotten the ability of going in here besides glitching in here. So there's like some double doors right there, uh, though not accessible. There's an elevator right here, and I want to be talking about potentially this elevator later on. And then look at the alien like symbol things right there, bro. Like, what's up with all that? That's crazy. And there's this room right here. Hold on, I'm gonna go back into this room. Bro, look at that green glowy thingy. You know what that is, right? That's how I was born. That's that's me when I was a baby. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's me when I was just a little baby <laughs> inside an egg before I was born, a green alien. Can I use this computer? Hell yeah, I can. <laughs> oh my God, dude. Are you, oh. What? This is insane in here. That's an awesome gaming setup back there, by, by the way. And then back in here, there's like some sort of lab. Is there going to be aliens in the game here soon or something? I don't know. Or are there already aliens in the game and, and I'm one of them? Look at this big place in here, you guys. Dude. It's humongous. And there's like a whole bunch of different floors. Oh man, I wonder somehow if I could. Uh, you want to get in here like a Mark II oppressor, right? And fly around. This is creeping me out almost. And I'm an alien. <laughs> yeah, they built it for me. They're trying to, they're trying to catch me. <laughs> yeah, you guys, definitely let us know what your thoughts are on this down in the comment section below. Look at this, dude. There's different rooms over here. This is really weird because I've never been in here before. We got a room there, a room there, and there was this, and there was like an extra like thing. I don't, I don't know if you can like get back into there or if there's a way. And then what is all this for too? Crazy. Here's the location right here, you guys. It's part of the thumbnail. Yeah, I wonder if there's actually more to this, you know? I wonder if there's actually a whole bunch of something to this. This is some sort of underground facility. We knew we have them. 
You know, with all the stuff that's coming out these days with, like, spaceships are real. We've been hiding them from you for the last 90 years. Extraterrestrials are real. We've been hiding them from you for the last 90 years or something. It's all coming out. It's all on the table now. Disclosure. But is it, like, all truthful? A lot of it's not. Aliens are not hostile, okay? Humans are hostile. Look at this. You guys want to watch some really good documentaries on alien stuff? Go look up Dr. Stephen Greer, okay? He's made a whole bunch of documentaries. And they're amazing documentaries that will blow your mind. Unacknowledged. That's one in 2017. Another one, too, in 2020 is Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind. And another one recently that he just made in 2023 that I just recently watched is something called, I believe, Lost Century and How to Reclaim It. Once again, his name is Dr. Stephen Greer. He makes documentaries on alien stuff in real life that's going on. You guys check it out because this is my opportunity to like let you guys know about that stuff. Go walk, watch those documentaries. Like You can find a bunch on YouTube, seriously. You can find most of them on YouTube. If not, like you can find them, and they're all going to be free to watch. They're documentaries on the existence of alien tech and how we have been suppressed for a long time. Now, look at this. This is something that we missed here. You guys, do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Uh, a little something from Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. That is the jetpack from San Andreas. You guys remember CJ getting to fly around in that thing? Because I do, and for some reason, the blueprint is here, and along with a green alien egg, which I need to get that thing and take it out of here so it can hatch, I can be a dad. <laughs> but you guys, seriously, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment sections below. What do you think about this alien place? Have you been in here yet? Because I personally, this is my first time. I don't know if this is part of a job, or if they plan on doing something later on, but there's definitely some alien stuff, some vibes that are happening here, even though there's, uh, you know, like these alien pictures, the, the autopsy potential tables, the, uh, the egg, you know, all the other stuff and the technology. And then there's something else that I wanted to go ahead and show you guys too, which you may or may not know about over at the military base here in just a second. But yeah, look at this, dude. Totally cool. All right, so here we are at the military base, right? Like, military base right there. And then up in the mountains is the uh, the alien place. I don't know what this guy's doing. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> I think he just killed one of his own kind. All right, so right around this corner, there's a secret elevator. And there's something about this elevator that you guys may not know about. So if you go in here, regardless of you owning a hangar at the military base or not, there's going to be a sign before we go in here it's saying warning no trespassing with a lot of other stuff you guys can come here and read it if you want but watch this dude i'm about to go inside near the elevator yep four stars automatically you are not allowed to go into this area which is the only area in the military base in which you are going to get four stars regardless of once again owning a hangar here so once again would love to hear your guys' thoughts down in the comment sections below. What you think about this mystery uh, extraterrestrial laboratory of some sorts where potentially what they're doing is reverse engineering things, which is how we got the technology for the Mark II oppressor. And people are like, you know, we don't want futuristic stuff. Well, that's where we're getting it. We're reverse engineering it from alien tech, and that's where we're at these days. So anyways from there, yep, see you guys in the next one. My name is Gravesite. Peace.